Yo, peace, completeness, wholeness, hotel. I should with a tub family. Um, welcome to this video. Um, and I'm finna just go in. You know what I'm saying? I'm finna just start it up. You know what I'm saying? Got Ampu here with me. Um, but we just gonna go in. We're gonna just start it off. This is called my Know Thyself PowerPoints slideshow. All right. So boom, here I press the buttons with my flute. Hey, <laughs> hey. Know thyself. Throughout all the ancient texts, hieroglyphs, metal nature, ancient sacred writings of the Salafu ancestors, they wrote, know thyself. The Wajet Eye. The Wajet Eye. It is um, symbolic for actually your brain, your pineal gland, and the functions in the in your brain. Right, the corpus, midbrain, uh, cerebellum, spinal cord. Right. Wajet Eye Ra. This eye called the wajet is symbolic for your inner eye is literally symbolic for your five senses that tether you to this realm this eye is also an eye of protection and represents the sun and your inner self this eye is a representation of knowledge wisdom understanding over under understanding outer standing the wajet means know thyself Simply, your eyes are what helps you see in this realm in life and let's know now explore the deeper meanings of this wajet eye the five senses, sight, smell, hearing, touch, taste, right? It's your five senses that allow you to experience life in any realm. You need your five senses. Without your five senses, you can't experience anything. And, okay, well, well yeah, we could go on. Without your five senses, you will not be able to experience a physical or any real of reality or actuality. Can y'all see that? I need to turn the. That might be better. The pharaohs of ancient Kemet Nubia Kush are called in the Subiti, which translates to black ruler. Kemet is the black land or black community, and Egyptology is disrespecting the ancestors by trying to whitewash Egypt. Egypt is Greek for Egyptos, which means black. Let's explore some glyphs, metal and some proof of chemists, black excellence. Also, chemist is where you get chemistry or alchemy. Chemist, the black community. Chemist, written in metal nature, right? You got the, the chem glyph, the M, which is the owl, and then the X, the T, that's the T. Um, and this is the X, which means community the black community now before i show more pictures why does this matter well we will explore the ancient writings and philosophies hika which is mathematics magic and science of the pharaohs but why does this matter the word chem meaning black well for one thing these egyptologists are degrading whitewashing history his story having sex with eating the mummies and stealing from african melanated culture and civilization and putting it on display in museums all while painting over statues and art to make egypt or Kemet seem as if they were not african dark pigmented people culture and civilization that's why you feel me now let's explore some of the greatness in a couple slides of ancient Kemet Naifu the universe is the sh in the shape of a spiral Naifu Naifu beings are the original beings of the universe inner verse inner space dark matter is the origin of all life all life comes from blackness. This is the source, triple darkness. So you got nine planets, right? And you got nine months in the womb. Feel me? As above, so below, as within, so without. Nine, nine, nine. 
There are nine planets. You spend nine months in the womb. Nine is infinite. Nine is the highest number. Nine is a multidimensional number. It is a number of the highest, higher realms and dimensions. Nine is also born in supreme mathematics and is symbolic and mirrors the womb. One man, she is the shape in the shape of a nine. Nine, three, six, nine is the divine Fibonacci golden ratio. You feel me? Nature is in shape of a nine. Divine feminine energy. Everything in nature, there's no... There's no squares, there's no boxes, and there's no straight lines. It's all spirals. There is nothing new under the sun. So this is part two. Genesis. Genes of Isis or Aset. Genesis states in the beginning. Genesis states in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was word was God. John 1. To use by the Bible, right? Um also, the word is thought, because you thought yourself into existence. And that is the divine forces are the elements. And Okay. Now, I'm quoting the Bible, but we will need to go in the Bible and the Bible origins. So, let's make a couple statements. First of all, the first Bible or oldest Bible is the Ethiopian Bible. Let's take a look at the oldest rock church in Ethiopia. Boom. All right, shout out to Master Teachers, man. I learned, I learned, I learned all this from the the Pharaohs, from the Master Teachers, different Master Teachers. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I believe it was FYI showed me this. Gag of greetings. Now things written or built in stone is hard to dispute, if not impossible. Even though the word impossible is impossible. Now net turd, let's get on this knowledge here. We will talk about and go over metal nether papyrus and many other archaeological treasures of the divine supreme beings' intelligences. The netters are divine forces and aspects of the supreme self. We will get into Nebuchadnezzar, Kepada, Kepadu, and other divine aspects of the universal self, cosmic self, in the upcoming slides for now, Hashuda. Let's stay focused. And yes, I, I made this, I made this slideshow, by the way. All of this, I put this whole thing together. The Bible, the Bible or the Helios Biblos. <clears throat> First of all, the Bible or New Testament was written by King James. King James was also William Shakespeare. Also, King James killed his own mother and was a homosexual. No offense and not attacking homosexuality. But if I were to judge this man correctly, I say no man in his right mind would or could kill his own mother. Fuck King James. The Bible, part two. The Helios Biblos translates to sun book. Helios is Greek for sun. Biblos is Greek for book. The Helios Biblos is not a historical book, but is a science book. And is the astrological book of the stars, hence sun book, a book of parables, metaphors, and allegories referring to celestial alignments in the zodiac. Then to the temple, let's take a look at this. And my apologies for the blurriness. You can look it up for yourself. Danadai Temple in Kemet is, and I'm gonna put a better slideshow of, of things, but because you know what I'm saying, I'm, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get, man, it's the beginning, bro. Danadai Temple in Kemet has, is, has one, if not the oldest zodiac calendar in the world. Check it out for yourself. I'm just connecting the dots here. Bible part three. Now, we're not going to go in depth about the Bible because there are many videos of intelligent brothers and sisters breaking down the Bible and its true origin and meaning. I'm just one vessel here. Now, the Bible's ingredients have origins in ancient Kemet. That's why you see a lot of the biblical stories taking place in around ancient Egypt, Kemet. A lot of knowledge and information comes straight from the Medunetta papyrus of Ani, the Per and Maru book of coming forth by day. That's the zodiac in the Dandada temple. All right? Boom. This is a scene from the papyrus per M. Haru book of coming forth by day. Now they selling is these scrolls for a million dollars right now. So that just shows you how important this information is that the ancestors wrote, man. Why do I share this family? Why? Because 99.999% of knowledge and ingredients and science of the Bible is stolen, plagiarized science and algorithms from the ancient black, Kemite, Sudanese, and various African tribal indigenous aboriginal beings of the land of what is now called Africa. Stolen knowledge right off the walls, 
pyramids and ancient scrolls of the Egyptian Kemetic Nubian Kushan Afro people of that landmass. Shots fired. Rah, 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 rah. Shots fired. Rah, rah. The slideshow and PowerPoint has every intent to share truth, non fiction, unbiased, objective facts. Hakakwa art. Actual facts. And yes, I speak some Nuwapi. <laughs> This slideshow is not an attack, but is a fair slaughter of fairy tales and distorted truth and stories and false narratives. Yet it's a clear attack of self-defense and in defense of my extraterrestrial non-ether ancestors on white supremacy and false doctrines that are enslaving the mental of the youth and adult living within the confines of the matrix, mound matrix, and Gregorian calendar. Boom. Blam, blam, blam. You know what I'm saying? Shots fired. Now, Christianity was stolen from pyramid, period, pyramid. Fuck all the pseudo. Religion is sun worship. Give credit to where it's due. Return the intellectual knowledge and artifacts to the rightful owners. Restore my art. Unify with the higher self. Forgive and build. Build, dis destroy, rebuild. Build, build, build. You feel me? Now, now that we slaughtered the false doctrines of religion and white supremacy... Not to hurt any feelings, but the truth will always prevail, and the truth will always stand, and the lies will always fade and be exposed. Truth, my art, my art means to examine. So I wrote this. This, this is my, you know, what I'm saying this is my, you know, my side show I put together. Najeru Neta Anunnaki, black extraterrestrial, seed of this planet, and are the fathers and mothers of civilization. Actual facts, no fiction. Black people, melanated people, are the most intelligent, strongest, most powerful beings, creative, uh, whatever you want to say. Um, genius of the whole universe. Shout out Imhotep. Melanated people have more polymorphisms. Go look it up. Polymorphisms. Melanated people are children of Ra, children of the sun and most high. Let's spit some facts. Hakakwa. Nine ether supreme beings. Uncle Jason Ed, life, prosperity, health. Melanin is a superconductor. Melanin sites. It's a lot to study. Melanin absorbs the full spectrum of the sun. Nine ether antennas that grows up to the sun. Boom. Montu mental arts, Montu arts for strategic thinking, improve your thinking skills. Melanin is worth more than gold, yo. Melanin is worth $300 a gram, more, more than gold. Programming, you have been programming with self-hate and ignorance, ignore it. Like the, the baby test where they say, which doll is prettier? You know what I'm saying? And they pick the white baby, you know what I'm saying? This is just programming, not racism, cause I don't hate white people. I don't hate any people, you know? I just know that um, nine ether beings, melanated beings, are the original beings. So I'm just, I'm spitting, I'm, t I'm laying down facts here. I'm not saying, I'm not saying fuck the police. I'm not saying fuck white people. I am saying fuck white supremacy. But hate is not true white supremacy. White supremacy is white people telling the truth. That's being a supreme being. There's no, there's nothing supreme about killing, lying, stealing. Nothing, nothing supreme about that. So the American corporation and all the mental slavery and all that shit, that's not supremacy. That's not true white supremacy. KKK ain't no white supremacist. You know what I'm saying? White supremacy is the white brothers that are uh, speaking the truth and 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 you know what I'm saying loving uh they black um family and they they uh, melanated brothers and sisters you know what i'm saying and showing love and respect you know what i'm saying you have been programmed with self-hate and ignorance melanin is worth more than gold you are already born rich in minerals you are born god or netter divine you were not born in sin like you were programmed or told you were born a divine all-knowing intelligent being supreme light being of the dark matter light cosmic divine energy you got Kepada the scarab beetle 
Kepra. Kepra is a scarab beetle, symbolic of the brain and creative power. Kepra is the unlimited, infinite, limitless potential and aspect of self with no boundaries or barriers. Now, Keperu is the finite manifestation of self within the limitations of finite, limited version aspect of the supreme self. Meaning that it's self-explanatory, but Nebuchadnezzar, the universe is not created. I forgot to put this slide. The universe is not created, but is a manifestation of the realization of Nebuchadnezzar. You feel me? So, Kepara is that, like the primordial waters knew, that unlimited chaos. Keperu is the manifestation of self within the limits. It's deep though, you know what I'm saying? And another brother broke it down even deeper. Kemet is undefeated. With pyramids precisely aligned to stars and coordinates and mathematics to calculate to the speed of light. You know what I'm saying? Boom. Life is a lie. No F. If you take out the F out of life, it spells a lie. Holographic universe simulation. Man, I put together this slide so quick, too. My, my future slides are going to go crazy. Now, let's discuss our relationship mirrored to nature and the cosmos. Also discuss how we are living in a mental projection of our mind and we are living in a simulation. We are living within matrices upon matrices, ones and zeros. Our universe is a mental projection of God's mind. Even though God is Greek, or God is Gothic, you know what I'm saying? Greek. We're going to break that down later on. Netur, Neturt, Nebuchadnezzar, Neturu, Kepara, Keperu. We shall discuss these ideas and concepts furthermore in later slides. Aten equals the highest form of consciousness. All praise dua to the divine Neturu, Pa'ut. Pa'ut is unformed matter. We're going to go into that too. Divine reflections. Every day we must come forth and advance to be divine as nature. Because nature is divine. And, okay, boom. We rise every day, Kepra, and attempt to live in perfection and get a 10 out of 10. Flawless victory. You know what I'm saying? To be my art. To be my Akaru, which is true of voice. Akanaten is the living image of Aten, which is the sun. Amos, Nefertari. Obviously, she was black. And shout out Smash because... You know, people online, literally, it was, and it was a, from his voice, it was a Melanade brother that was, his argument was, he was showing two different Nefertaris and saying, pretty much his argument was saying that, about her blackness, that she was not black. And it's just, it's a lot of crazy stuff going on right now, family. Stay, keep your third eye open, man. Nefertari. Nefertari was was triple black ether. Nefer the glyph and word for beauty in ancient Kemet. Amun Nebkepada, Lord, living image of Amun, right? Cause Neb means Lord. Golden age, golden race, the golden ones. These are just pictures I got off the internet, y'all. But they apply, but they, they, it made a nice little slide show, you know what I'm saying? AU is the chemical compound for gold. Boom. Noob, Nibu, is the word for gold in Medunetta. This is the glyph for Nibu. Like Nubian. Gold actually comes from outer space, maybe why it is a cherished element in ancient and modern times. Gold is symbolic of the sun. The sun is the giver of all life, is the giver of the key to the life, the Ankh. Without the sun, there would be no life. UVB rays from the sun gives us vitamin D and a proper energy to function and grow. We all come from Ra, the sun, because we all come from dark matter energy and we come from primordial thought and energy. We are all the sun collectively. This is the Christos Christ consciousness, the I am that I am. The sun is dark matter plasma energy that is the basis core and the source of our physical matter in this realm. Well, sir, I saw the Lord of the Perfect Black. Kemet was black. 
What's saw depicted with green skin or vegetation, life, growth, uh, many other things. All right. I set the mother Haru in the Holy Trinity. Genesis. A star holding the Hika and the Kaka, which is mathematics. You know what I'm saying? Kepada, Scarabito. Notice. Note the similarity of the scarab beetle to the underside cross section looking up from below of the human brain. The thalamus seems to be surrounded by a pair of wings. Boom, son. Detailing human skull. Life is a reflection. There's the scarab beetle. Here's the human skull, man. Let's get it. Okay, boom. We're going to end it there. 20 minute video. I like that. That's, that's a good little. That's some that's some good um light codes for right now. Hotep, completeness, wholeness, family, Uncle Joss and Neb, Hotep, Sakim, Life, Prosperity, Health, Guidance, Protection, and the highest enlightenment. More coming soon, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Hope you enjoyed that that um that breakdown family. I'm excited. Um Got my creative juices flowing. I'm excited because I got I got so much more that I wanna give. You know what I'm saying? Sankofa. I'm out, you know what I'm saying? I got so much more that I'm I wanna unpack and that I wanna I'm I'm studying hard, you know what I'm saying? I'm 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 studying really hard. I, more than I ever have in my life. So I'm reading, I'm on my studies and Got my creative juices flowing. So, you know, I'm going to put together a nice little video with some music and some some straight vibes, you know what I'm saying? But that'll come soon. I need to, I need to rest my vessel now. But uh, art soon, man. Let's build, family, you know what I'm saying? I'm here to build. And, and I got my, you know... My mind is on focus, so I'm, I'm, you know, righteousness over everything. I'm focused on building right now, so let's build, man. Let's put the get, let's put away all the distractions. Let's come together, unified. Let's build on some, on some, on some real focus mentality. You know, mind to arts. Like let's let's. It's time to. It's a spiritual warfare out here, you know what I'm saying, family? So we let's let's sharpen each other and protect and provide for the for the youngest, for the family, and let's heal so we can overcome generational curses and we can knock out these demons out our way so we can uh you know, so we could start really building and and um start start spitting that heka. That magic, you know what I'm saying? Peace and love, family. One love, man.